Welcome to the video hop for September uh, for the hashtag Makers Creative Collab hosted by PM Artist Studios. Make sure you check out everyone's video um, after this. There's a link in the description box and at the end screen there will be a link to the next video in the hop. Please enjoy. So here's my project. I decided to make a lamp. The theme this month was sticks. So in this project, I use sticks in various ways and it shows best here in the dark, but I'm gonna turn the lights on and show you exactly what I made. So here it is with the room lights on and the lights inside the lamp still on. And here it is with the lights inside the lamp now off. And I still think it looks kind of cool, like a little sculpture. So what I thought of when I heard the prompt sticks in um, Makers Mix Media Face Group, I thought about this cyanotype kit I had had uh, for quite a while and I'd been meaning to do it and it was end of August, early September, well it was September and uh, still hadn't used it and it gets cold up here and uh, my time to try it was running out so I thought I'm going to give it a go and I had done a couple prototypes. Um, I decided to use this, like, um, it's like a little circular craft box from the dollar store and um, I thought that would make a cool base. So the prototypes I used, the paper wasn't big enough to fill this up, so I bought some new paper. Um, this Cats and Mixed Media uh, 14 by 17 inch paper. And um, I'll do another video showing the process that I used for the cyanotype. I did what's called a wet cyanotype. Uh, I'm not an expert in cyanotype, but um, I'll put a process video up for that um, because it was fun. Basically, cyanotype is how they used to make uh, blueprints, and it's using UV um, to expose the chemicals that you use. So um, here's an example of one of the other pieces I did. And um, I might turn this into a companion lamp. We'll see. And I lined my little container here. I just um, used some of the sticks that I'd used during the printing process and some others that I gathered and I cut them down and I just glued them to the base. And for the lid, I wasn't sure which lid looked better, um, this one or the faux wood one. I decided to put the faux, faux wood one and that's just um, scrapbooking 12 by 12 paper that I cut down to cover the lid. And on the inside, I just taped on this LED light system. You could glue it if you wanted. Uh, and that also was from the dollar store. Just these little string lights. And if that makes you nervous, you can also just use one of these um, electric candles or battery operated candles. So you can pop that in there. And um, I'll show a picture up here of the candle with the um, lights off. And I could do it, you know, with the candle. I think it looks kind of pretty without the lid. Um, my husband didn't like seeing the inside, so um, I decided to do with the lid. And the way I attach the papers, it's not, it's not glued in. I just have it sitting in. So I could change it out if I wanted to make a different lamp or maybe use a jelly print or whatever. So because this paper still wasn't quite big enough to fill up the whole space, I just put some eyelets in here and I just strung it together kind of like a corset um, to attach it. And then I did stabilize it with just a little bit of plastic to keep the round shape. Otherwise it was kind of going into like a teardrop shape. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see some of the details of that and like I said I will um, do it a, a separate video showing the process um, I used to make this print and some of the prints. Here's just a little sneak peek of part of that process. And here it is without the light on and I think it still looks kind of like a cool sculptural piece. I don't do a lot of 3D um, things. Uh, the top could definitely be done better. I just loosely glued that on in case I wanted to change it. So here's my finished project for the Hashtag Makers Creative Collab for September um, with the prompt sticks hosted by, or I think it's Striking Sticks, hosted by PM Artist Studios. And I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to click the link to go to the next video, probably up here. 
and um, enjoy the hop. <laughs>